guys, and welcome back to another Lost Bits video right here on Tetra Bay Gaming, the series where we explore the unused, scrapped, and unseen content in gaming. A while ago, I made a Lost Bits video covering the Java edition of Minecraft, and in that video, I promised if it did well enough, I would make a follow-up video covering the Bedrock edition too. That is, the version of Minecraft that you can play on almost all current non-PC platforms as well as Windows 10. Well, that video did really well, and I'm pretty sure you guys demolished the like button on it, so here we are at last. And if you do enjoy this video, consider subscribing. I don't typically cover Minecraft, but if you find this interesting, I do cover all sorts of games on the channel. Anyways, with all of that said, go grab your pickaxes once again, it's time to find some Minecraft Lost Bits. To kick things off, let's start with objects and features that were at one point implemented in the Bedrock version, but have since been removed. Now, Minecraft obviously wouldn't be what it is without the many blocks that make up its world, so let's first start with blocks that have been removed from the game. The first set of these are blocks that weren't really meant to be in the game at all, and were only seen due to how the game handles certain metadata values. So first up are these seamless smooth stone slabs, basically a top and bottom half of the slab block. These are unique in the fact that they don't have a defined ending at the vertices here, so it looks like someone just cut a smooth stone in half. Next are some older scrapped versions of some six-sided blocks which just use the same texture on each face. And if I remember correctly, I think we saw some of these also mentioned in the Java versions. Anyways, these blocks include those for the Purple Pillar, Quartz Pillar, Bone Block, Chiseled Quartz, and lastly, the Hay Bale. Now these were all likely changed to make them appear more realistic, I guess. Like in the case of the Hay Bale, this just doesn't really seem to make sense. And the top and bottom of the pillar blocks were also made to seem like an actual cross-section. Then next up we got some old removed locked versions of the Smoker, Blast Furnace, Barrel, and Lectern. Even back when these were in the game, these locked versions could not be used at all by the player, but a locking system for these exists in the Java version, so it was probably going to be the same thing. Either way, these unique locked versions were eventually just merged into the regular versions. Then, kinda similarly I guess, there also used to be a version of the campfire that was smokeless. Now these were only seen briefly in campfires that updated from the 1.10 update to the 1.11 one since the 1.10 campfires were still functionless at the time. Next up are a few unused bell types. Now these weren't completely unused because they could sometimes be seen in villages throughout the game or forced in via commands, but they're unused in the sense that you normally can't obtain them otherwise. These normally unusable bells include ones made of diorite, granite, as well as polished granite. And while on the topic of the bells, there's also an unused bell type that lacks a bell at all, as it's just the stand for it. Unsurprisingly, no bell can be wrong with this version. Next is this unused piston block that was removed sometime between the version 1.1 and 1.13 updates to the game. Its purpose isn't currently known. Next up are block types that actually appeared as intended, but were removed. First up, similar to the Java version, here in Bedrock, the roses were removed in favor of the poppies. It's really too bad here especially since the Bedrock version had a unique blue rose that was never seen in Java. Though they may be gone now, Johan Bernhardsen, a former developer, stated that they might actually return in the future. But it's been about six years since he said this, and he doesn't work on Minecraft anymore. So yeah, don't go holding your breath, Blue Rose fans. Okay, random post-production edit here. That was really hard to say. Try saying your breath, Blue Rose fans, five times fast. It's nuts. And last up for the blocks that were removed, we got Block 253 and Block 254. Block 254 was basically a block to store the item model for leaves, and over time it had up to three different damage value versions, two over just a green block, and one that used the texture from the side of a crafting table. Then lastly, Block 253 here was just an early block that appeared as a regular grass block. Well, mostly. Most of the faces look normal, but on the bottom, one of the side faces was used instead. Additionally, these blocks didn't work with farming, and you couldn't even plant flowers on them. Ultimately, this block was removed in the Pocket Edition 0.8 Alpha Build 2 update to the game. Alright, next up, let's talk some gameplay features and mechanics. All now scrapped include the ability to have once been able to sprint underwater, 
eating food used to directly heal the player instead of decreasing hunger, improved vision underwater with the use of a helmet with the respiration enchantment, as well as the chance of obtaining wheat seeds when using a hoe on a grass block. Next, several text splashes that are seen on the game's menu screen have been removed from the game over the years. These include a message mentioning the version was redstone free, which was removed since redstone has now been implemented to this version. And same thing goes with the game no longer being dragon free, with the addition of the Ender Dragon. The acronym for Minecraft Pocket Edition was removed since it's referred to as Bedrock now. Not all versions of Bedrock are touch compatible now, so this was scrapped. All references to Notch, including this splash text, have been removed, as well as Snapshots Intensifying, Trying Monument Valley, and Bacon. And lastly, these splash texts were removed with this version no longer being in Alpha. Interestingly though, this message wasn't removed until the 1.9 update to the game, which rolled out in February 2019, over two years after the game left its Alpha stage. Oh yeah, and also just the letter D used to be a thing that could show up on the splash screen. That's cool. Then, as far as structures go, there is one type that's been removed from the game, and that's one that could be spawned with the Nether Reactor. Prior to the version 0.12.1 alpha update, after building this reactor out of cobblestone, gold blocks, and the Nether Reactor core, by activating the core, a large netherrack structure would spring up, and this became unofficially known as the Nether Spire. After popping up, several items as well as zombie pigmen would also spawn. This was essentially an early form of the nether in this version. The functionality of this reactor was ultimately removed in favor of the nether as it was implemented into the pocket edition. And adjacently, the nether reactor core can now normally never be obtained without the use of mods or an external inventory editor. Next up, we have a few objects from the Education Edition of Minecraft that were apparently added in by accident in the 0.16 Alpha update to Pocket Edition. Oddly, some of the stuff that was added, then removed, was also later re-added into the game, like the Allow and Deny blocks were brought back into the game in the version 1.16 update. Anyways, as of making this video, the objects that have been removed and haven't returned are the portfolio item, as well as three different versions of the chalkboard. One slate shaped, one board shaped, and one poster shaped. Moving on, several crafting recipes that once appeared in Bedrock have also been removed over the years. The resulting items from these might not have been removed, but these recipes to craft them have. These recipes include those for the nether reactor I mentioned earlier in the video, one for the enchanted golden apple, this recipe for the old version of the stone cutter, and this is actually an item that also has been completely removed from the game. Well, except for in the new Nintendo 3DS edition, where oddly it can still be accessed in the creative mode and can be placed in for decorative purposes only. I mean, shoutouts to all the real homies who still play Minecraft on the new Nintendo 3DS. Anyways, back to the removed recipes, we have these two for the cocoa beans. The honeycomb block used to require nine honeycombs instead of the four it does now. This recipe for smelting red dye was removed. Then the stone bricks, redstone repeaters, redstone comparators, smooth stone slabs, sandstone, and red sandstone slabs and stairs all once had different requirements for crafting them. Up next, just like I went over in the Java Edition video, the Bedrock Edition 2 has several biomes that have been removed from the game. Many of these biomes existed in the Bedrock, or Pocket Edition as it was at the time, until the 0.9 update to the Alpha. The biomes that were removed at the time of this update are gravel beaches, rainforest, shrubland, tundra, seasonal forest, as well as old versions of the swampland and savanna. Then similarly, other miscellaneous things that no longer get naturally generated in a world include these colden oak trees, gravel paths in villages have been scrapped in favor of grass paths, and finally, villages in the savanna biome used to have their buildings built of oak, and this was also removed. Now, let's move on to some audio files, more specifically sound effects that were removed from the game as most of them were updated. These sound effects are of an arrow making contact with a surface, the sound of the bow, the sound for doors opening and closing, as well as sounds for explosions, lava, the old hurt sound, and flint and steel. 
Then lastly, for content that was outright removed from the Bedrock version is this old screenshot that was once added to the game known just as 123123.png. That oddly rhymes. Now this is believed to be a test screenshot of the Minecraft Advanced Touch Technology Interface Crafting System, or MADIS, basically the crafting system that was used in the Pocket Edition up until the Better Together update. This screenshot was only around in the files for a few months, from the Alpha 0.3 update in April 2012, up until the 0.3.3 update in August of that same year. And now finally switching gears, next let's talk about the content that's unused, but actually still left over in Bedrock Edition. We started off with the blocks earlier, so let's do the same here. For unused blocks that are still left over, we have the Nether Reactor block I mentioned earlier, Glowing Obsidian blocks, which look like a red version of the Crying Obsidian blocks, which were also unused for a while, and these Glowing Obsidian blocks were also once associated with the Nether Reactor. Then there's a block type known as Reserved 6, which apparently at one point was a replacement for the Fire blocks for a while, and then we got the Border blocks, as well as the Allow and Deny blocks that I mentioned earlier were re-added to the game. Now these can be still technically accessed via console commands or some other methods, but under normal circumstances they aren't ever obtainable or craftable by the player, even in creative mode. Then similar to the blocks, a few paintings also are left over but go unused here. These four paintings all appear to be based on the four elements, water, earth, fire, and air. Then we have quite a few textures left over in the Bedrock version of Minecraft that never get used under normal circumstances. These include textures for some removed items like the portfolio and chalkboards we went over earlier, two unused textures meant for the tops of barrels including one that would show a barrel being full of fish, textures for the agent and mask spawn eggs, rubies, raw and cooked hoglin meat which just happens to look like the beef textures, a texture for an unimplemented minecart with furnace, as well as a quiver, an item for holding arrows that was never implemented either. Next up, Bedrock also contains a few entity types that go normally unused. Again, I say normally since some of these can still be accessed with console commands. These include, but aren't limited to, a tamed variant of the ocelots, a grey tabby cat, wither skeleton archers and jockeys, baby trader llamas, zombie horses and all of their associated variants, this fella known as Agent who is mostly used in the Education Edition of Minecraft, then there's this NPC that normally never spawns, just known as NPC. And interestingly, you can even customize this NPC when loading it in. And then lastly is an unused ghost variant of the Elder Guardian, which looks mostly the same but has less health and lacks part of its tail. When forced to spawn in, these dudes just either constantly float up above water, but when spawned underwater, they will float down a bit, kinda look at the player, and then proceed to keep floating down and clip through any blocks along the way. Then last up for the content that was removed from Minecraft Bedrock Edition are three biomes. Warm Deep Ocean, Mountain Edge, and Legacy Frozen Ocean. Mountain Edge was exactly what it sounds like, and was used as a sort of transitional biome between a mountain and the next biome. Warm Deep Ocean was meant to be very similar to the regular Warm Ocean biome, but was twice as deep, go figure. And finally, Legacy Frozen Ocean was similar to the regular Frozen Ocean biome, but lacking any icebergs, and it could spawn kelp as well as rabbits, which the normal Frozen Ocean biome can't. And with there being no notable debugging content in this version of Minecraft, that about wraps up this Minecraft Lost Bits for the Bedrock Edition, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like on the video to boost it in the algorithm is much appreciated. And if you haven't yet, go check out my video on Java Minecraft by clicking or tapping on the card right here. But as always, thank you all so much for tuning in today, and I will see you in a bit.